What is going on all you little fireheads? This is your neighborhood fire guy here with an LSPDFR tutorial. Uh, today what we're going to be installing is AI Traffic Validity and Discipline 6.0.1. I had uh, uh, somebody comment on this one I did, it was like a couple months ago, um, but I didn't link any of them in the descriptions, and which I didn't, but I mean, it looked like it was pretty self-explanatory when you pull them up. But, um, and it couldn't work for him, so I'm going to try to uh, do it over again and just renew it and see if it's more clear for you guys this time. So the first thing we're going to be downloading is AI Traffic Validity and Discipline 6.0.1. I'm going to download this file. Okay, so it's going to be this new one here. 6.0.1. Hit download. This, should, this one should actually take a second, I do believe. Okay, there it goes. And then when it's done downloading, we're going to drag it to the desktop. Okay. Should be about done. Okay. So we're going to take it. We're going to drag to the desktop. We're going to drag it over here. Okay, so we have our AR right there. The next one we're going to do is game config. Okay, this is for limitless vehicles. Um, 1.0.0. The build is 2372 because that's the build of Grand Theft Auto, the new version. So we're going to hit download. Download again. Should do it. I should do it one more time. There we go. So, okay. Then we're going to grab this one, drag it right next to the AI. Right there, your game config. Okay, then we're going to go over here to heap adjusted. Okay. All these, I'm going to put these links in the description below. Obviously, if you guys can't find them because obviously I didn't do it last time because I suck at this, but I'm going to fix it this time. So all the links will be in the description below, okay? <clears throat> all right, so hit download for the heat limit adjuster. Download again. There it is. We're going to drag this one to the desktop. And then pack limit adjuster right here. Okay, 1.1. It's the only one on here, so just hit download download again all right and there it is we're going to drag this to the desktop okay so we're done as long as we drag all these to the desktop we can close out of our uh our search engine there and what we're going to do first is we're going to pull up open iv open forward if you want to call it hit windows okay Three. edit yes okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install the game config right here, okay? So to get to your game config, okay, um, you're gonna go to mods, update, update RPF, common, and then data. And then what you wanna do, as always, you go to your favorites, add to favorites, and save it. Okay, then we're gonna scroll down here. Here's your game config. See, I've already added, I'm gonna add it again so I can show you how to, uh, add this stuff so we're gonna go to the game config we're gonna open it up we're gonna close out of this go to GTA game config now I do stock traffic you guys can do whatever you want but I think this is the best reason to do it so it doesn't glitch out your game um, you can add more traffic seems like more of a pain in the ass but whatever so we're gonna grab the game config we're gonna brag it over here we're gonna drop it okay we're gonna close out of that okay so the next thing we're going to do, so we're going to just send this down to the taskbar. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our uh, main directory. Okay, and to find your GTA main directory, well, it's going to be up to you guys. Mine is in my D drive. Some people have in their E drive. You can have it in your C drive. So if you have it in your C drive, you're going to go C drive. Um, so, oh yeah, my Steam's not. You do Steam app or program files 86, Steam apps, common. Grand Theft Auto, okay, mine is going to be in my D drive, Steam library, Steam apps, common, Grand Theft Auto, right here, okay, so then we're going to do the pack limit adjuster, okay, mine's already installed, so you're just going to grab this one, this one, okay, the pack limiter, ASI, and the INI, you're going to grab them, so I'm going to here and drop them, okay, so then we're going to close out of that, okay, so we're going to take this, get this out of here, we're going to get the game config out of here. Now next is the heap adjuster. Okay, so basically all we're gonna do, same thing, grab this heap adjuster ASI, drag it over here and drop it. 
Get rid of this one. Okay. So we're done with the main directory. So you can close out of that. We're going to want to bring OpenIV up again. Okay. Open up our traffic validity. Okay. Hit AI traffic. All right. And now here's your files for tra the traffic. Okay. So we're going to open the readme so it tells you how to get there. So if you guys are ever confused on how to not get there. Okay. Um, so we'll pull this over here. All right, so here's your readme, okay? So the first thing we're going to want, see it already tells you in there to add the heat limit adjuster and the pack limit adjuster, okay? It says heat limit adjuster, but the heat uh, adjuster is a lot better because it gives you an option. With this one, you can only stay with 600 milligrams, the, uh, or sorry, millibytes, but you can, um, with the heat, just the heat adjuster, you can adjust it all the way up to 2,000. This one doesn't let you adjust it, the other one. So the other one's a better one, that's why I recommend that one. Okay, and see we did the game config already. So the first thing we're going to do now with the game config, okay? We're gonna open, how we get back to your game config. So you wanna go to mods, update, update, prayer of common data. We're gonna scroll down to our game config, okay? We're gonna open it up. We're gonna hit edit. Okay, we're gonna drag this over here. Then we're gonna do in your readme, you're gonna wanna copy this items right here, all the way to there. Hit right click, copy. Okay, you guys got that? As soon as you did that, okay, this is where your game config is that we opened, okay? So we're gonna put our little cursor right here after they keep this sorted, right here. We're gonna hit enter twice, one, two, okay? Then we'll right click, paste, okay? But see, now you're gonna have this gap here. So we wanna put the item there. You're gonna hit backspace, 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 until the two items are right together. And then you wanna hit enter. So it all matches up here. See all these odd match up, match up? So once they all match up, you just hit save, and then it goes. Now, if you didn't do it correctly when you hit save, it's gonna tell you that it wasn't done correctly, okay, that there's a problem. So you're gonna have to go back and, and go back to those steps again to do it correctly, okay? So now that that's done, okay, we, can, uh, we have to install the vehicle handling meta, okay? So we're gonna go to mods, common RPF, data, AI. Okay, now this is what's in the file here. Okay, here's your vehicle handling metal right here. And as you can see, it's right here. I've already installed it, so all you gotta do is grab it and grab it and drop it, okay? Close out of this, close out of this, and hit your edit mode, because you're all done installing. Close out of this, and then what I'll do is I'll uh, go inside the game and show you guys Basically what it does is when you go code three, they start moving to the side, they get out of your way. Traffic just acts a little bit better. So I'll see you inside the game and show you how it works. All right, guys, and here we are back in the game. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go code three and watch what the vehicles do. They'll uh, slide out the way for you. They won't just sit there, so. Let's get to a busy intersection here somewhere. All right, this'll work. All right, now watch, uh, I'll just randomly get out your way if I can get something. See, like what, here, just pull out. See, I'm pulling to the side of the road. Oh, see, I'm all pull off to the side. It's not perfect, but they still see they, they pull off to see yeah, that one got out of the way. Now they, they'll, I do believe they'll try. Yeah, see they'll they'll try and move out your way there too. Um, without this in the game, the cars don't do that. They don't they don't move out your way. Um, so like he'll pull off to the side. Oh, he, he's kind of a dick. He didn't do it. But uh, yeah, that's basically what this mod does. Um, it's not real intrusive, but it also cleans up. See, he got he pulled over. They'll they'll all pull over now. Um, but it doesn't, uh, you know, it's not a big dramatic, but it, it, with the traffic, it helps it clean it up so they're not so crazy and they pull off to the side of the road. They do, it's better to have it than not have it. So um, that's it guys. Uh, like I said, if you have any questions, um, like I had the one guy I wanted to make this video for. Um, uh, so, you know, it was just more step-by-step. -step. Hopefully it helps you, man. I don't know, uh, you know, if you have any more problems, just hit me up in the comments and I'll try to, uh, uh, see if I can help you any way I can. You know, I always want to make sure you guys uh, are doing this right because I know how crushing it is. It breaks your game or anything like that. So, all right, guys. Till then, though, it's your local fire guy saying have a good night.